Before I start my presentation, let me introduce myself to you. I am Jerwin D. Andal, second year student, taking up Bachelor of Elementary Education at Laguna State Polytechnic University, Lopez Satellite Campus. And I am currently taking this course, Science, Technology, and Society. And I am tasked to discuss the intellectual revolution that defines society. At the end of the lesson, you must be able to first define the intellectual revolution. Second, identify the intellectual revolutions that define society. And third, discuss and explain the paradigm shifts, how the intellectual revolution changed the way humans see the world. Intellectual revolution is used to refer to Greek speculation about the nature in the period before Socrates. It is also termed as pre-Socratic or non-theological or first philosophy. It is the period where paradigm shifts occurred. It is where the scientific beliefs that have been widely embraced and accepted by the people were challenged and opposed. First, let us discuss the Copernican Revolution by Nicolas Copernicus. Nicolas Copernicus is an all-round renaissance man or an astronomer, a mathematician, a doctor, and a clergyman. One of the philosophers and astronomers named Claudius Ptolemy stated that planets as well as the sun and the moon move in a circular motion around the earth. He believed that the center of the universe is the earth where the sun, the moon, and the planets revolve around it. This theory is called geocentric theory. Geo means earth and centric means center. Until Nicolas Copernicus, a philosopher and a mathematician, challenged this geocentric theory. He stated that the center of the universe was not the earth but actually the sun. This theory is called heliocentric theory. Helio means sun and the centric means center. This theory influences conceptual changes in cosmology, religion, physics, and philosophy. It also answered issues that could not be explained using the geocentric model. Other works that supported this model started to emerge as well. It was eventually accepted by the people in a period which was called the birth of modern astronomy. This era began what was known as the scientific revolution which resulted in the transformation of society's thoughts and beliefs. Second intellectual revolution is the Darwinian Revolution by Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin is an English naturalist, biologist, and geologist. He is well known for his book entitled Origin of Species. In this book, Charles Darwin introduced the theory of evolution which posited that populations pass through a process of natural selection in which only the fittest would survive. His theory became very controversial as people perceived it to be contradictory to the church teaching that the source of life is a powerful creator. The people were divided. Some believed that the theory explained the origin of life but the religious and the faithful strongly refuted it. It even sparked a massive debate between science and religion. It was only after some time that people came to understand that Darwin's theory of evolution was not in fact against the teaching of the church in the boat coexist. And the last one, intellectual revolution, is the Prussian Revolution by Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud explained that there are many conscious and unconscious factors that can influence behavior and emotions. He also argued that personality is a product of three conflicting elements, which are the id, ego, and superego. The id is the unconscious part of the mind. It meets basic needs and seeks to bring us pleasure. The id is the most important in keeping us alive. 
The ego is a conscious part of the mind or the rational self. It is aware of reality. And the ego answers to the question, how do we get done what the id want? And the superego is the unconscious part of the mind that acts as our conscience. Superego is concerned with morality. For example, your id says, I want chocolate. And then your superego says, you're on diet. Then your ego says, Eat just a small bar of chocolate. That's the end of my presentation and I hope you have learned. Thank you and again, I am Jerwin Disandal, second year, BEN student at Laguna State Polytechnic University, Lopez Satellite Campus. Thank you.